The president of the United States is regularly violating the First Amendment to the Constitution. Now, you might say, David, that's your opinion, but it's actually the view of a federal court, which has decided that when Donald Trump blocks people on Twitter, which he does all the time, he is violating the Constitution's First Amendment. This is a, a statement from Judge a Decision from Judge Naomi Rice Buckwald, who says that no government official, including the president, is above the law. And all government officials are presumed to follow the law as has been declared. We hold that portions of the real Donald Trump Twitter account, the interactive space where Twitter users may directly engage with the content of the president's tweets, are properly analyzed under the public forum doctrines set forth by the Supreme Court. That such space is a designated public forum and that the blocking of the plaintiffs based on their political speech constitutes viewpoint discrimination that violates the First Amendment. Donald Trump, according to a court decision, regularly violating the First Amendment of the United States. Now, Trump's Justice Department doesn't agree. They have a different view. They say that just because the president is the president doesn't mean he can't take advantage of the associational freedoms of being, being on Twitter, which basically means if you're on Twitter, you get to use the platform the way it's, it's set up, right, which includes that you can mute people and that you can block people and that you can do whatever it is you want to do on Twitter. So despite the judge's decision that Trump is violating the First Amendment, she said she's not going to grant relief to the defendants. And I actually think there's a really important difference here between muting and blocking. If Trump mutes you, he won't see your comments to him, but you can see what he tweets. If Trump blocks you, you can no longer see his tweets while logged into your account, which legally the point is, is a completely different uh, situation. Now, I have a couple genuine questions here. Number one, does this apply to foreign Twitter users? In other words, if you are a, a citizen of France and you were born in France, you're, you're not an American resident or citizen in, in any way. Um, does this apply? Can the president block people from foreign countries? I don't really know. Maybe it doesn't matter. Question number two, and I think this is the most most interesting question. Can Donald Trump block bot accounts? Can he block Russian bots or whoever? Would that violate the First Amendment? Because those bots are being run by people, but they're not really people in the public forum sense of the thing. I don't know. Maybe it, this doesn't yeah. even really matter. I wonder what the constitutional originalist point of view on this would be. Like, what would James Madison and Thomas Jefferson say have about to say Twitter. on the distinction between blocking someone and muting someone on Twitter? Isn't this why? I mean, okay, so like, let, let's forget about James Madison for a second. But if you're a constitutional originalist, your view would be that the Constitution, as written in the 18th century and as amended since, would account for such questions as presidential behavior on social media platforms like Twitter, right? That would be, if you're a constitutional originalist, then you must believe that by definition, you would believe that the constitution as written accounts for any future technology or circumstances that may present themselves. If you are not a constitutional originalist, if you're, for example, a constitutional pragmatist, as I consider myself, this would be yet another one of the ways in which the constitution just does not account for the ways in which society has changed since the 18th century and through the amendment process. And I think that that applies to the First Amendment. I think that that applies to the Second Amendment. And there are many other considerations that are, are just impossible for the Constitution to have made. Uh, but to make the sort of headline here clear, a judge has decided that the president of the United States is regularly violating the First Amendment to the Constitution, despite being the guy whose party is supposedly all about free speech. They are, I guess, the free speech warriors. So no, no shortage of hypocrisy and double standards.